What's up guys, Alenthio here, and this is my rank for 8 kaiju deck profile. <laughs> I'm not gonna do Alenthio the whole time. Well, maybe I will. Eh, never mind. Anyway, Divinator 1, 2, 2, and uh, this is my new rank 8 kaiju deck profile. Basically, when Shivy came out, it ruined my last deck profile, so we have to update it, so we might as well. Let's get started. First up, we have Jizuku, the light, the Star Storing Kaiju, and Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. Now, these guys are your big boss monsters at 3,300 attack each, and uh, they each have different effects. Uh, Lightning Strike lets you uh, spend three counters to stop all attacks, and you can attack three times. And then Jiz uh, Jizuku can, when he's targeted, negate the effect and destroy one card. Uh, he kind of combos well with your Kaiju files, uh, and I like to keep them both because it's nice to have the options. Next up is three Degoron, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Uh, he's probably the worst one, despite having some of the best effects. But you know, uh, I was thinking of maybe this Lightning being uh, Mecha Degoron to kind of combo with these guys, but I decided to go with uh, the Lightning anyway. But anyway, uh, Degoron, he's okay. He's the one you give your opponent because you know you don't want them to have any quick effects, and all the other Kaiju's tend to be quick effects, so this is the one you give them. Uh, three Gamasil, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. Uh, basically, he's a win condition for the deck. You just uh, get this thing in defense mode with a bunch of counters, and your opponent can't activate anything. Then you just kind of like bleed the resources. It's 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 uh it's probably my favorite card in the deck. One Gadarla, the Mystery Dust Kaiju, really good against Cosmos. Um, I main deck one. Uh, any more is kind of a waste of space. You really do not want to give this to your opponent either, because it'll really screw up your strategies. But uh, I like having it one just so I don't get caught with my pants down. Three Schwarzschild Limit Dragons. This is the Kage to Kage for rank eight. Uh, basically, if your opponent's got a monster with three thousand or what, it's two thousand attack or more, you can just like slap this thing down, and uh, yeah, it's just really how you make your rank eights, and you pretty much just need this to make play the deck. And then with two Beast King Barbaros, uh, I was thinking Parsec for a while, but Beast King Barbaros is great. Uh, you just can normal summon it. It loses attack, but who really cares? It's a level 8. Kind of lets us get our plays going, and it gives us something to normal summon, which we don't really have a lot of in the deck, so that's really kind of important. Ooh, blank cards! <laughs> Swordsman of Revealing Light. I, <laughs> I like that little special effect. Basically, uh, one of my uh, subscribers sent me a deck profile rank age kaijus, and he included this card, and I was like, oh right, I tried this card when I first was building the deck, and I decided I didn't like it, and then I went back and tested it again, and I was like, oh no, I do like it, he's right. So I threw I threw in this one. Basically, uh, it's a battle trap, and your opponent declares an attack, you can special summon this thing face, uh, face up. I always use a fence position because it's got zero attack, and just lets you get another level 8 on board, which is really cool, and uh, it helps you if you don't have a monster, which kaijus tend to not if you kind of like went first or something. Alright, uh, <laughs> also, you'll notice those those didn't exist because I don't actually own them, I can't afford them. I moved down to New York and I'm between jobs, so click, click some ads, guys. That, that'd be really cool. Alright, Kyoto Waterfront at 3. You pretty much need this to play the deck because it's just kind of how it works. Because it's, yeah, that's just. And then you get the two terraforming. Uh, you could go 3 and 2 or 2 and 3, doesn't really matter because you pretty much only need one waterfront. The others will never. Uh, they'll all, the rest of this will all just clog up, so it doesn't really matter what ratios you run. You just need to get it because otherwise your deck doesn't work. And three interrupted kaiju slumber, really good. Nukes the board, summons the kaiju each side of the field, and combos really well with the new uh, kaiju files card. Uh, and you can banish it from your graveyard to search a kaiju. Uh, that's just really good card. Probably the best one they got. And as I was talking about, the kaiju files, great with Jizukiru. You can set his effect off with this thing, um, as well as comboing really well with your kaiju slumber. Basically what you do is you can uh, pop a kaiju to summon one from the deck, which is really cool, and it gets counters when a kaiju is summoned from the graveyard or the hand, so it helps you uh, fuel your gamma cell as well. Like I said, if you play your interrupted slumber, you can then, let's say, summon out, I don't know, uh, thunder, and you give your opponent Degoron, I guess, and then you attack over the Degoron and kill it. Then you can use the Kaiju file to pop this guy and uh, get your Gamma Cell in defense mode, and then you are all set to just start winning the duel. 
Anyway, we got three Regeki and two Twin Twisters. Mind the orange cases, because these are from my Cosmos. <laughs> um, basically, I thought Twin Twister should go with the deck because, like, Vanity's Emptiness just really, really kills us. And uh, Twin Twister can just get us tons and tons of counters, as well as Regeki is to get out of certain things like Vanity's uh, Fiend and things like that. Um, it could be Swords of Concealing Light, I thought about it, but yeah, I like Regeki. Three Triton, because we play a bunch of level eights, and why would you not run Triton? Two Owner Seal. Now, this could be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shit. Um, ooh, uh, remove, remove Brainwashing. I chose Owner Seal, though, because it's a spell, so when you play it, you can use it when you want. Uh, and it gives you uh, waterfront counters. But uh, it's kind of whatever you want to do. It, it's up to player preference, really. One Kaiju Capture Mission. This is things great. If it's killed by your opponent's card effects, you get to draw two cards. Plus, it's a Book of Moon for Kaijus, and it's continuous. So you can do it up. To, you can just keep using it every turn. And it's another source of counters. It's just a general good card for the deck, and you probably should run it at least one. Uh, I think it clogs at anything more than that. Two Oasis of Dragon's Holes. Basically, this is just to keep your rank eights going. It combos well with your uh, Kaiju files because it gets you some of those counters. As well as it'll put your uh, Gamma Cell in defense mode. Two Storming Mirror Force. Uh, basically, this could be any Mirror Force you want it to be. I chose Storming because you can get a Kaiju that you gave your opponent back to your hand, which lets you nag them pretty hard. But there's really nothing stopping you from playing any Mirror Force. Another one I might suggest would be your Quaking Mirror Force, because Quaking Mirror Force... Uh, uh, would put all your opponent's monsters face down. They get stuck like that, and then you have a bunch of tribute fodder. So it's it's not a vile or it's not a not a bad card either. So I would choose either. And then I don't really have the extra deck built because it doesn't really need one, and I think Ryan has half of it anyway. <laughs> so basically, the idea is what you want to pretty much play is your a Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon with your Galaxy Eyes Full Armor and Galaxy Eyes uh, Doesn't Matter Dragon. These, 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 these three are basically what keeps the rank 8 going. This is your OTK plays. You can use your Oasis to bring them back and keep going. And then the other one you're going to want to play is your number 38 uh, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. This thing sucks up spells and negates them. It's just really good. And uh, 3k, it's pretty decent beast deck. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I actually had to re-record the audio for this one because it was really bad, so I was pretty much just trying to, like, talk over my own video. So if you think some of the, the weird hand gestures don't make any sense, that's completely why. Um, anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the deck. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the man who will, I'll see you guys next time. This first one's against Ryan playing Blue Eyes White Dragon. As you can see, I opened the Supply Squad, which was uh, kind of handy, and I managed to draw into the Dark Destroyer. So I thought maybe I can just try to get as much advantage by, as possible by destroying my own Dark Destroyer, get out the Slip Rider, and pop his face down. Uh, I ended up being called upon if he goes for the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, or that was like White Spirit Dragon thing. And I uh, e teleport out a bunch of uh, advantage by getting. Tin Cannon, and I'm not going into Infinity, I figured it'd be a solid, decent board, and uh, at this point, it's just keep 